guys and welcome back to another video by me, Hallibut. Uh I know it's been a long time guys, I am very sorry about that. Uh, I think it's, well May 29th was my last video, which is crazy, I can't believe how quick time has gone. Um, I've had a new job and moved out, so I've been busy. Uh, I've been trying to keep up with all your guys' questions and uh, comments and whatnot, and hopefully I'm going to start pumping out some videos uh, to answer quite a few of those. Um, but thank you so much for your uh, you guys who have subscribed. I'm nearly at the 200 subscriber mark. Um, so I have a lot of you guys to make videos for now. So I've got to get back to it. Uh, so basically what we're doing today for a quick video um, is showing how to get a soldier to draw his weapon and to holster his weapon to put it back away again. Um, you can do this for different reasons for example if you wanted to make it so if a soldier hears an enemy nearby uh, he can get his weapon out or he can holster it if he sees a friendly patrol arriving or anything like that but I could show you how to do that later in the video uh, with additional script but here we go guys sorry for your wait here's my new video right then guys how do we do this so I've placed a soldier on the map uh, and I've created a mission so I've just gone to F3 and saved it as draw and holster weapon for obvious, obvious reasons. Um, so what we need to do first is give this soldier a tag. I'm playing this in Men of War Assault Squad 2. Um, so I pressed U and I'm going to give him the tag soldier because why not add that to him. And I press Alt Tag, or Alt T, should I say? And that shows up on there that he's got the soldier tag. So what we want to go to is trigger um, and create one. I'm going to call it draw and holster weapon. Uh, condition: We don't want anything to make the soldier do this for now. It's just to show the commands that we need. So go into add command, go to actor state, selector. So we need to select which soldier we want to do this. Who will be tag soldier. That just makes it easy when you give them a tag to select the uh, correct entity to do it. And we want to go to weapon prepare. He's got his gun out at the moment, so we're going to tell him to put it away. So we're going to go weapon prepare off, OK, and if we just save that and go on start, and it will put it away. Pretty simple. But what you can do as well is, if I add a delay there, let's put three seconds in, and we can then copy act state and change that to on so save that again and press start and it'll put it away and it'll bring it back out simple as that another little example here for you guys we have the soldier from earlier and we have a friendly patrol what we want to do is get the patrol to approach the soldier and once the soldier recognizes that the patrol is friendly he's going to put his weapon away so to get to do that first of all we need to create a trigger which will tell the patrol here to walk towards our soldier so selector I've given them all the all the patrol the tag patrol so we'll select patrol and we're going to tell them to go to waypoint zero. Waypoint zero, I, I placed earlier just behind the soldier there. So they're going to patrol, to patrol towards our soldier there. So we have the same command for this soldier 
act state to put his weapon away, but we need to put a condition in this time. And that's going to be when the soldier sees the actors, the actor, the selector is going to be our soldier again. So we need to go on to the soldier. And the enemy is called enemy, but is actually friends in this uh, example. It's going to be our patrol. And then there's a few things you can uh, mess around with. You can set it to the distance, so if they're in range. So there's a lot of possibilities there. So in range, for example, you could have soldiers move or start firing or run away. Up to you. Uh, but what I'm going to do here is detection. So when this soldier is able to recognize that patrol there, see who those actors are, then it's going to trigger the command for him to put his weapon away. So if we just save that and press start, let's see what happens. Soldiers are approaching. Once he recognizes them, there he goes. You've seen him approaching and he's put his weapon away. So this could be like a mission you were creating, for example. You could have the, say, the officer here, you could have him with a talk prompt when he approaches the actor saying that they're friendly troops or whatever as he just barges by there everyone's just going to push past him now nobody likes him um, yeah so there's endless possibilities with that one I thought I'd just show you that guys uh, to add a bit more to the, the script of drawing and holstering any more queries guys let us know please subscribe get me past that 200 subscriber mark that will be ace and yeah, just let me know any more queries you have in the bottom and I'll try and see if I can answer them. Cheers and guys.